welcome to the work phase. It's really early again. It certainly feels it. Not too early, but quarter past seven. December time. What can this mean? Morning and welcome back. So here we are today for another paddleboard diary and we're in painting area today so I'll show you on the map where we are. Um, what I want to do today is um, just find again somewhere new to paddle, somewhere new to go to and, and a point of um, almost like a point of reason to get there, somewhere to aim for. So what we're going to do today is going to go, we're leaving Goodrington Bay. We're going to head straight out to sea to avoid rocks which are under the surface. I've seen that on the map. We're going to go around Roundham Head. We're going to go out around the pier and then back for breakfast at Pixie Cove. Fairy Cove, in fact, Fairy Cove. Have a look on the map. Let's do this. It's cold. It's Christmassy time, isn't it? Mm, better put the right gear on and play the right music. Hope you like the hat, not quite Father Christmas, but it's near enough, isn't it? It's near enough. Anyway, where are we? I'll flip the camera around and give you a few views because it's quite stunning again out here. Let's have a look. Right, so we're in Tor Bay again. Haven't been here for a few weeks now and you can see the sun just trying to come up over Berry Head there, which looks quite glorious at the moment. Um, looking back that way, we'll eventually take you back to Broad Sands, which I'm gonna paddle another time. There's a tanker over there and we've still got some of these cruise ships here. Now there were loads previously. There's a couple out here now. Um, three actually, there's one facing head on. So there's one, two, three of them. Um, and let's just have a quick zoom in on them. I'll just zoom you in a little tiny bit. I don't zoom anymore because it'll just lose definition. But there you go. It's quite peaceful out here for them now. One thing that you can see if you look around there, there's a big chunk of um, rock that's fallen down there and it probably goes back about 18 yards or so so safety tip number one just be careful of the oak cliffs folks just be really careful of them second thing and i keep going on about this is the breeze so if you look on the water you can probably see down there at the moment there's a fair bit of ripple and it's taken me around the corner so this is something you need to be really mindful of is wind direction i keep going on about it but wind direction is so important when you're paddleboarding why is that? I'm going to take the half, it's too hot. Why is that? It's Wind direction is so important because, particularly on an ice up, that's inflatable paddleboard. Um, for those who don't know, the wind can just grab it. This is six inches thick, so the wind can just grab hold of it and it'll impact you way more than tides will. Yeah, they will, seriously. And the thing is, if you get caught by an offshore breeze, the further offshore you go, the worse it gets, and there's no way out. When you're surfing and fighting a rip current, you can go across it, you can avoid it, and it eventually dissipates. Wind on a paddleboard, no such luck. It's going to be on your case, so do like I did today. This is why I'm here. Check out the wind direction. So the reason I came here is just totally so that I could um, choose which way to go, so I could head up or down the coast, so I'm going into the wind first up. But of course, the wind's wrapping around this headland. So let's just flip you around again so you can just see the sun really coming up now. So it's still pretty early. It's only just gone eight o'clock um, and it's what, mid-December thereabouts. So there you go, folks. Sun coming up now over Berry Head. Um, we're going to head on around to a pier. So we're going to go around to Paynton Pier. And then, and that's, I'm going to just slowly drift around to the left and you'll just see it around there now. I'm going to stay close to the cliffs here because... 
I, um, I just want to stay out of the wind and I don't want to get blown out. Um, and then I'm going to go left of, there's a boy out there which I'm going to go left of, um, or a marker post or whatever you call it. So I'm going to go left of that one, in around the pier and then back to Fairy Cove. That is the plan. So on we go. So here we are in by the pier folks, um, quite a strong headwind that I was coming into there so just a little tip if you're paddling in towards a headwind you can actually flip the paddle around as you bring it forward so that the face of the panel, paddle is facing upwards and that means it will cut through the air a little bit easier, just a little tip for you there. So um, anyway I'm going to at the moment there's a, an elf out here paddling along so I'm going to say hello to the elf and um, and then I'm going to give you a few tips on architecture whilst paddling. So let's see how we get on. I want a nail for paddleboard, not just some oh, geezer with a beard. Anyway, let's look at this architecture, yeah. So for anyone who's tuned in today and searched on YouTube for architecture whilst paddleboarding at Christmas time, welcome. Um, I'm going to give you a very quick heads up here. So as we can see, red sandstone cliffs all around the place. Red sandstone church in the middle of the screen there. That's right, making use of local materials when building. That's always a novel idea, isn't it, folks? Georgian houses in the background, big Jordan, Georgian buildings. So, folks, if you see them at uh, coastal places, particularly holiday resorts, they're called Georgian. Might be Victorian, I think they're Georgian. And there's the pier. So, there you go, folks. I'm going to go through that pier back over to Fairy Cove includes that little architecture excursion it's time to get over to Fairy Cove if I can get in there because the rocks are all out aren't they because the tide's out I have to go somewhere else let's, let's, let's do this let's see it's exciting isn't it took me by surprise a little bit. In behind me on the almost gateway into Fairy Cove is an old remains of a pier and a reef underneath it and um, the waves suddenly picked up there and I quickly, I almost fell off actually, got down on my knees quickly and there were some rocks at the bottom of the, um, the fin, just did scrape the bottom for a moment and I could see where the rocks were. Got away from it so just see, just got to be careful, got to be careful. I did go in quite cautiously, in fairness, I did. Honest mum if you're watching.
are folks. And we're not at Pixie Cove, Fairy Cove. Well, what I'm calling Roundham Cove. And as you can see, over the paddleboard, over that big chunk of rock. I'm not directly going to go under that, don't worry. Um, well, what I'm sat on now is probably just a rock slide from years gone by. So, um, it's time for that time of day again. Time for a little bit brekkie, I think. I need this. What am I on today, you ask? Right, today I'm on a 5 one 90 calorie bar. Now, yeah, so sorry there, folks. I keep on sidestepping you with the old breakfast bar, and I think the last one that I was eating was making me too slim. So I had to change it to something that had a bit of peanut butter in it, or a peanut butter type flavour. In fact, let's, it's time to get precise on the snack. It was actually a peanut butter popcorn bar. What is not to like 90 calories? We love that, don't we? Anyway. Thought for the day, thought for Christmas time. Thought at the moment is that, oh look at that, wave coming up almost to the paddle board but it won't get there, he says. Um, everyone's a bit loopy at the moment, aren't they? We're, we've been in lockdown. If we're not in lockdown, we're in a kind of lockdown. And if we get out of that lockdown, somebody somewhere hasn't been socially distancing. Someone's Sport it for everybody, haven't they? Some guy said on the television, it's like the naughty kid sat at the back of the class has sport it for everybody, and it's exactly the same, isn't it? Now, but what can we do? We can get out, and I recommend just getting out, folks. Go for a walk, go for a cycle, go paddleboarding, go canoeing, whatever, go swimming, anything. Just get outside, get some exercise, get breathing, get blowing. Oh, do you good? Do you good? And it's as simple as that. Nothing more to learn today. Um, I'm working my way around the bay, as you can see, bit by bit. Trying to get new ground in, trying to find something different. I found something different today. Oh, oyster catcher going through there, look. Um, trying to find something different every time I come out of paddleboarding. And today, the big surprise was the underwater reef and pier, which almost I came a cropper on. Yeah. Wow, I'm amazed at that. I'm amazed. But I did stay away from it enough to be able to get out of there. There you go, always learning, folks. I've been on the estuary a few times, and actually, when you're back in the sea, even though it's calm today, there's that wash all the time. You know, this water's coming in and going out, and it washes you one way and the other and the waves can suddenly appear from nowhere, even a, like I say, on a calm day. In an estuary, it's stable, it's more predictable, it's flat or on a lake or on a canal, but here you get that wash and it just throws you out of position slightly. So there you go, another Steve dog, dog tip. Just be mindful of that, folks. Now, I'm not the religious type at all, but I will wish you a Merry Christmas because I think it's more than religion now, Christmas. It's about tradition and stuff. Um, and although I'm not very religious, I'm gonna play you a track now, um, which kind of, to me, explains how people are kind of feeling at the moment. Yeah, I'm thinking about the music before I've done the final edit. It's bizarre, isn't it?
music that might be playing now isn't something religious, it's some kind of um, acknowledgement that people at the moment are just doing the most stupid things at times and it's like, okay, Lord strike me dead, might be a bit extreme, but knock me down, blow me down, push me over, what are these guys doing? That's kind of what it's saying. When really, all you need to do is enjoy your own company or those you live with or in your personal bubble and you can go out and still enjoy your life. You can even just sit and watch a bit of telly. It's not the end of the world, is it? you just got to socially distance. Is it really that difficult? Another quick thought. So as I look across the bay here and the rain's trying to come in, um, just a little bit, one thing that's really apparent, you don't really notice, is when you look on Google Maps or Google Earth and you try and sort out a route, you don't get any real appreciation of the verticality of things, or the height of things. So over there, I can see some cliffs working their way along and there's bays going in, and eventually it gets over to Broadsands. Now, I dismiss that saying, well, I don't really want to go there because not a lot of shelter. But actually, when I look at it, those cliffs are reasonably high and paddle boarding in a bit of shelter is always a good thing. So that's definitely going to be something to look out for going forward, folks, is just try and consider the verticality of things. So maybe look on maps where you might be able to see um, those line thingies, I think is what they call them, on the Ordnance Survey maps. Yeah, that's what they call them to suss how high things are to work out if you can get shelter while paddleboarding. I'm of course drifting out to sea while I'm saying this to you, so better turn around, finish off this track, head inland, yeah, before I get out to these boats. Everybody wants to blame somebody for the sorry shit they're in. folks another great paddle another bit of the bay explored so we need to do folks get out and explore don't know what time of year is just do it see you next time on the next steep board paddle boarding diary catch you on the paddle boarding it's paddle boarding flip side yeah.